given by Sri Chinmoy at the Wayside Chapel in King's Cross, Sydney, Australia, on March 6, 1976. I have come to you today as a seeker brother, a lover of humanity. We are all seekers here. We are all aspiring for the highest truth. You are aspiring and I am also aspiring. Aspiration is the climbing flame within us and at the same time, a connecting link between you and me, between your soul and mine. When we seek, when we cry, we feel that prayer is not only hope, but certainty. Certainty that the human world is entering into the world of divinity. I happen to be a seeker at the United Nations. My sole aim there is to serve the body and soul of the United Nations in silence with my prayer and meditation. I do not know anything about politics, but I do know about oneness with the highest. In the United Nations, there is a small group of genuine seekers who come two times a week to serve the UN with their soulful prayer and meditation. We feel that this inner prayer and meditation can and will help in boundless measure to bring peace, light and bliss to the world. It takes time, but we see that it also takes time for the UN to achieve its goal. Right now, the achievements of the UN are far from satisfaction, but we feel that still there is hope the United Nations is a symbol of man's inner cry, inner oneness. Outwardly, the members of the UN do commit mistakes. Again, if we make mistakes, that does not mean that we shall never arrive at the truth. No, mistakes are merely rungs in the ladder of our inner progress. If we have an inner urge to do the right thing, to grow into the right thing, to fulfill the divine within us, then there comes a time when we do become perfect instruments of God. So we cannot judge the UN on its present appearance. We cannot judge the UN by what it has already offered us. Only we can judge the UN on its soulful promise, its promise that it will one day flood the world with boundless peace. God has countless children and countless divine qualities, but I wish to say that his fondest child is peace. Everything this world of ours has, save and accept one thing, and that is peace. What is peace? Peace is satisfaction. Each individual has his own way of discovering peace or defining peace. A child breaks something or makes a clamorous noise and that gives him satisfaction and makes him feel peace. He breaks the thing and then he is satisfied and peaceful for a few seconds. Again, the destructive vital of a particular nation may come to the fore and destroy another nation. The victorious nation gets joy. It feels satisfaction and peace. Each individual and each nation has a way of defining peace, appreciating peace and achieving peace. 
But most of the time, this peace is false peace. It is peace that is inevitably followed by frustration. A child breaks something, then a few minutes later, he wants to break something else. One thing is not enough. He wants to break 10 things. Constantly, his hunger to break things is increasing. A nation destroys another nation, but it is not satisfied. The nation wants to destroy a few more nations. In this way, there is no end to its hunger. Frustration follows achievement and abiding peace is never found. Julius Caesar said, Veni, vidi, vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. He conquered, but inside him was nothing but a barren desert. By conquering, we cannot have happiness. If he had said, I came, I saw, I became, then he would have had real peace. Real peace comes only if we say, I have come to serve you. I am becoming part and parcel of your existence reality. Then we will feel perfect peace. Right now, fear, doubt, anxiety, tension and disharmony are reigning supreme. But there shall come a time when this world of ours will be flooded with peace. Who is going to bring about that radical change? It will be you, you and your sisters and brothers who are an extension of your reality existence. It will be you and your oneness heart, which is spread throughout the length and breadth of the world. Peace is unity. Peace is oneness within and without. India's greatest poet, Tagore, wrote a soulful poem. In front of me is the sea of peace. Shamukhe Shanti Parabha.
Mm-hmm.